Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of M Crater Lore. So today I am going to show you the process of actually designing the trees that I started working on. And I've created a little bit of a makeshift um, feature element procedure kind of thing to work with these uh, structures. So basically what I need to do is rotate all the structures um, using this one initial structure. And what I've done for the time being um, was basically disable the uh, Vine uh, script for basically rotating structures and stuff like that. Eventually we'll try to make it a little bit better for uh, future development and if anyone else wants to use it, it would be a little bit important to fix that issue. So uh, basically what I'm doing here is just updating the um, what do you call it, the rotations, and now I'm going into the flipped version, so this will basically flip the uh, rotation or the structure around, uh, kind of like a mirror thing, right? So we're sending the, uh, there's four rotations, and then there's four mirror rotations, so that should give a little bit of variety between the um, thing. Now, it's not going to be too noticeable on these particular structures outside of the roots, pretty much, but... Um, you know, it will still give some variety for a lot of it. The third structure set that I have over here is um, more dynamic, so it will show more uh, than these ones, but it will still look really good when it's uh, done. I still wanted to add support, so basically I needed to fill in the area with structure voids, and I'm just basically using the command to do corner to corner from the starting one to the ending one. And then I needed to re-update all the coordinates and set it to the save mode and undo any mirror uh, rotations just so the coordinates is properly set up for the save mode. And then I had to go back and basically name them all, which I had have a little system that I'm basically doing for this particular mod um, project and stuff. So basically I start with like coordinate base things so in this case it's just needed to check so it's a uh, no space no underscore and then just the letter north for or n for north and then east and then south and west and then i have north flipped which is nf and then east ef for east flipped south f or south f for or SF and WF, which is for the other rotation. So once I've done that, I still have the other set to do, um, but I can do that off camera because it's not that important at the moment. I'll be adding them to the large biome or the wooded woodland or wood biome woods. I think it, I called it the wood biome. So I originally thought I didn't need all these, but I ended up deleting them. And then I realized that I didn't actually import them so I had to undo all that and restore um, the files that I had so I almost lost all the work that I did uh, for um, the medium sized structures so once I figured that part out I'm glad I didn't empty my recycle bin I don't usually do that until I know usually that it's a guarantee that I don't need anything in it but um, in, in this case, I was able to salvage the uh, the models or the, the structures that I had before. So I could actually just go into my recycle bin and restore all these, thankfully. <laughs> and then I could basically go into here and uh, add the rest of them in. So basically, that's what I did. And then once I had them all imported, I could move on to actually setting up the feature element and getting them all um, implemented into that particular thing. So I needed to figure out where the, the, the uh, script was for that. So I was looking for the um, feature element so I could get that and then I needed to figure out where I was going and I needed to go small one and then I needed to duplicate the small one for what I created. Now I'll cover a little bit of what I've done with this particular thing. Um, basically what we'll do is we'll open up that um, small one I think. So we'll drag that medium one over into here and I'll kind of go over what I've done. So 
basically this is the uh, non-floating script uh, we will need to duplicate that so we can get some of the features that I've been working on in the spare time so there's one for um, making the structure not float and then there's kind of like a terrain editor now down here what we have is this allows us to uh, basically generate the structure um, commonly there's a whole bunch of other features here now I'm making sure that it tests for the block below and then I'm using these random blocks to generate a random rotation this way I don't need multiple uh, structure elements or feature elements in order to generate it uh, there are some things that I need to take in consideration though and that's the height of the structure so for example this one is I believe five blocks above so there's that many that we need to take in consideration where the the ones that I worked with before were only a negative three so I had to set the offset for these structures here on the y-axis so I need to update all of these to negative five uh, that way it will allow me to go ahead and uh, place the structure in the roots like the roots underground so um, that was kind of important for this particular one and then I got to go ahead and update all of the rotations for each stage so this whole section here is for the first model and then I needed to do the other models so I got those all implemented and that took a little bit of time but I uh, was able to subtract that or close minimize those the next thing I needed to do was set up the non-floating script so basically I could go ahead and duplicate this and what it does if you're not familiar with it is it basically allows us to set the structure size and everything and we're going to make sure that it um, basically goes ahead and only generates if the block at the location is solid in a cubic area so well, not really a cubic area, but the pane of the grass. So if there's room for a flat thing. So if we were to want a five by five area, which we probably want for these structures here, uh, the, the medium ones, then we want to go two in. And then we want um, a, to basically set our size to five. So we already have the Z and X offset to two, and then we just need to set our size to five. And then we should be good to go for that. Um, other things that we want to take in consideration is our structure size as well. I already set all that up, so we were good to go on that part. Uh, this script here is basically designed for the um, additional terrain edit, like edits that we can basically use. And uh, what it can do is it's kind of like a work in progress thing that I'm working on, but it can basically replace blocks around or around the tree um, generation now it can't actually replace the tree blocks themselves but it can replace the blocks around it uh, the reason being the tree gets added in after the script is run so it's very rare for any of the blocks to actually get updated unless there's lazy chunks being loaded or something like that but um, in this case we need to make sure that our structure size is a certain thing I, I decided to actually measure the larger one instead so we could basically set up that one and yeah I'm pretty sure that um, I ended up measuring the larger one instead I could just get the 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 uh, height from the the, the actual structure void or structure block which was a lot easier than counting it by blocks I don't know why I was trying to do that so there's a whole bunch of other settings in here this is where all the script is located it calculates all that it's using repeaters to make things um, a little bit easier it will do a, a circle or well it's kind of like a cylinder around the tree for basically when it updates it you can set the size and all that other stuff and how random it is and there's the filler block as well as the underfill block which will allow it to replace certain things you can use tags instead if you want to so this is still a work in progress I'm still testing it so you can expect this to be released in the near future um, just so uh, there is basically um, uh, 
you know, some extra additional things that you can use to the structure script. Now we, we need to update these and make sure that there's an and statement to basically test for both conditions. And it should be all set up in that regard. We just need to basically set the, um, believe it's the, uh, what do you call it? Make more structure elements for the different types of biomes. So this medium one will be in both the woods biome, which is going to be like a larger tree biome. And then there's going to be one, uh, some smaller one, smaller density in the actual forest, which will allow it for a little bit more variety um, and size and different shapes and stuff like that. So um, I needed to make a couple different procedures and stuff. Now the large trees, uh, I didn't want to be in the other biome for the forest because they're kind of unique, uh, particular ones, and I want them to be a little bit more rare. Uh, there is a feature that I built into the structure itself that can probably be used for a small base or something like that. But basically, the tree inside is kind of hollowed out. So um, I'm hoping that it can give some variety for players to actually find shelter and stuff um, inside the trees. So there was those parrots that you might have might have not saw there. Um, basically, those parrots are... I've been using the seed for like ever uh for well not ever but you know like for this whole testing thing for like a couple weeks now because if i fly just over here then that we're right in a forest biome and that we need to uh test things and you can kind of see that the the dirt around the structure is basically replaced and it's kind of noisy so there's fertile soil that kind of generates around them uh this is basically the terrain script that I ended up making. So there's a lot of uh, noise around it mixed in with our actual structure blocks themselves that we do replace. So it gives a nice little balance. All these uh, fertile soil around the bottom of the tree, that's basically the um, script basically running. So it will randomize um, some blocks. You can turn off randomization and it will do it in a circle around the terrain and you can also put things on top of the grass um, though this will vary so you could do things like leaves or whatever um, underneath the tree or different blocks maybe you want flowers or something you could always replace flowers with it so there's like many different options of trying to make it as dynamic as possible now one of the things that i wanted to check was how the trees were actually generating and if there was any floating structures and by the looks of it, it actually does really good for the five by five area that I basically set. So um, there's no trees that are actually over the edge here, but um, I did find in some cases that it was a little bit over, even though that we went with a size five, but it's not like a huge amount. It's not enough where I would be too worried about seeing it floating. It's still technically on the ground. So it works right so i think if we were to set the size to one block uh extra around in radius it probably wouldn't be doing that um which would allow it to be straight on the gra grass itself the only problem with that is it makes it a lot more rare if the area that it needs to test is um a larger air larger size so outside of that there's just a few cases where it's just sticking a little bit over by one block from our actual terrain but Outside of that, it wasn't too bad. Um, I'm sure we could probably set up some sort of um, condition for the blocks or something like that to make sure that they're not floating. But uh, in this case, uh, some of the tree trunk or tree roots were actually going into that cave. And I was just checking the cliff size to make sure everything was set up. And yeah, I was pretty happy with the overall feel of the biome. Um, there was a few things that I did notice that the plains biome doesn't actually have any trees anymore so when i removed the old tree design i needed to add it back so basically if we keep going this direction you can kind of see that there's a the biome here this is our biome and it has all the small trees and if we go a little bit further um there will be a larger biome but um yeah i i think i will add uh the trees to the um the actual or i think it was the wait i'm not sure um not entirely sure what i'm working on at the moment tell you the truth 
Uh, I think it was... I, I made some adjustments to the density of the trees. So um, we added more. I can't remember exactly what I was trying out, to tell you the truth. But I did need to test something. I think I added more small trees to the, the dimension. Pretty sure that's what I did. It feels a little more dense now. So that's probably what I ended up doing was adding a higher probability for the small trees. Um, if not, I did end up adding that later on. This is actually a really cool geolo geolo geology feature was that little tunnel there that goes out through the other side. And there was a few other cave systems that I just wanted to check to see how things were generating and stuff like that. Um, over on this side here, this is where the large woods are generating. This is why I really like the seed. And I've basically been just duplicating the seed and um, allowing us to test things. So this is basically the woods area and it allows uh, larger trees and that's basically where our large wood trees and stuff will be generating. Uh, we'll probably end up uh, lowering the amount of trees and stuff like that. But eventually, um, one of the other things that I did want to add was just some small random trees in the plains biome because there wasn't a lot of trees in the plains biome at all so i needed to add that to the plains biome itself so i needed to create a new small tree element and then i needed to basically set the um the biome for plains and i'm using that as a tag so we can basically update this all the like if we change the or add additional plains biomes then we can always um, just use that. It's already taking into consideration the flower planes as well, so it's perfect. And then I needed to adjust the rarity and the uh, basically the amount of trees. After I've done that, I just basically went in game and tested uh, one more time to see if the uh, thing is basically there. I'm using the. Um, I didn't travel too far because I wanted to make sure that I was in the planes. So does look like the trees are generating. They're not that common, which is perfect for a plains biome. You don't want too many trees in a plains biome. Forest, you want way more trees than in here. But if you go into a plains biome in Minecraft, then there's usually these random trees that are in the plains and stuff like that, mostly oak. So I wanted to kind of mimic that design and uh, try to design it with our own tree system. Uh, we might make some different variety later on, but I think this is a pretty good start for basically what we want. And I still need to remove this structure here. Uh, I, I have it still to in the, the mod files that I still need to get rid of. Um, we, we need to build our structures a little bit more before I want to uh, fix that up. We'll probably do that next episode. All right, so final notes. Um, outside of that, there's going to be one more thing that I'm going to walk off off camera. There's uh, that uh, large tree uh, set, which will be in the woods. And by then, I'll just do a quick recap, um, probably next episode, and uh, show you what I've basically added and how it looks and stuff like that. So um, if I don't, try to remember or remind me in the, the comments, and I'll see if I can um, get that uh video out in the near future but pretty sh pretty happy with um how the actual uh woods feels especially walking on ground uh it feels very open but still allows you to walk through it it's not as dense as the minecraft forest but it still allows a lot more um, variety plus there's a lot of space to actually walk around depending on the steepness of the train which is one of the nice features of the um the non-filling or non-floating tree structure but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out